Welcome back. In the previous part, Noir visited the player room and did a bit of tidying up, even though the room really didn't need tidying up at all. She moved a pen, moved a book, and destroyed my prized statue thing that I, a, a trophy that I got for some reason. I, I don't quite remember. Also, I had a magazine at some point. But anyway, I've got another scene with Noir here, helping a friend. We got a VR event, so I've got to put on my headset, so back in a second. Hey, player! How have you been? Good. So, um, today I thought I'd change my routine a little and ask you for some advice. Lately, I've been wondering a lot about my future. I'm not sure what I want to do. Huh? Well, the reason I'm bringing this up is... So, I'm the goddess of last station, but I'm also a girl. There's just been a lot on my mind. So I want to... Or, whoops! My friend! It's about my friend, alright? She's really interested in becoming a voice actress. Doesn't everybody dream about becoming a voice actor? No. I mean, even if you could debut as one, you don't get work if you can't pass auditions. Sometimes it's tough to stay relevant, too. Of course, she understands the road is a difficult one. But still, she really wants to become a voice actor. Do you think she would be able to make it if she just believes in herself? It takes a lot more than that, but we'll go with yeah. Right, come on. Yeah, you're right. As long as she believes in herself, she'll be able to see that dream come true. This is random, but if some kind of magic user told you, I can make your wish come true, would you believe them? No, especially if it's Cuba. What? What? Ugh. Well, that's weird. Huh, you're in contact with a character or objects, please return to your original position. Weird. Can you, can you know? But, oi! No! How do I know? No! No! I would just go, yeah. Oh, wow, I'm surprised. So am I. You're a pretty naive person, aren't you? Or maybe a romantic is more appropriate. Don't worry, I actually like that kind of optimism. Thanks for listening. I think I just have to make sure that I stay positive. I'm sure one day I'll be a great Vio. That's what my friend said anyway. Wow, we've been talking for a while, huh? It's about time I get going. I'll see you next time. I blame you for this ladder. Right, there we go, we're back in the dungeon now, so let's head on to where we're meant to be. Still very confused by Noir's skirt here. It's, like, it's just way too short. Especially for someone who's like, like, wary of such things. It's always it's these handicap. crap ones that are coming after me. This is terrible. This is terrible. Right, let's go here and go power edge, fence up, boom. It's not, even, it's not even like they're difficult or anything like that, it's just... Just right after me, straight away. Straight away. Now, we've got another story about Cape Cod. When I was on vacation with Sarah, Uni's voice actress. And it's, it's a little funny story that basically relates to me being British and used to the weather here. It was a day where it was raining and we had to go out to the car. And it, it wasn't that far away. It's like, if, if we say like in this game, it's like the car was probably to the edge of this little bump here. The one that's right in front of us. So it's like we had to get over there. That that's as far as we had to go. Yeah. So it's like Nyan indeed. So that, that's that's as that's as far as we had to go. But it was properly raining. Now me being me, understanding the rain, etc., because I'm British. I was much like, yeah, we don't need an umbrella for that. That's fine. It's, it's like we don't need one at all. No, no, no. Whoa! How did no, I No, going to Sarah. We ne we needed to get the umbrella because we'd get drenched. I was like, we won't. We won't get <laughs> drenched. You're gonna Jake. regret it. You're gonna regret taking this umbrella. So she brings the umbrella. I rush round to the other side of the car because cars are backwards in America for some reason. I don't know, it's very strange. 
I, I will carry on the story, don't worry. Noir is so late! D did the monster get her? Yes. W what should I do? Maybe I should go as well. Meow. Meow. Huh? Why are you here, kitty? I thought you were in my room. Meow. Meow meow. Oh, please wait, kitty. Meow. Meow. Here you are, Keisha. I've been looking for you. Who's this? Um, who are you? Good question. You would know if I said the order, wouldn't you? N no. It can't be. That group should have been destroyed. Quite the contrary. The survivors banded together and formed a new order. A better order. Blackjack. Hmm. Uh huh. I have a mission for you, Keisha. I need you to erase someone. I am no longer related to the Order. I have no intention of accepting this mission. Is it all right for you to say that? Looks like you really want to throw away your current lifestyle. Correct. What? Huh? The townspeople here have nothing to do with this! Then there's only one choice you can make, isn't there? Hmm. I understand. But this is the only time I will do this. That's perfectly fine. The target is this woman. She must be killed with absolute precision. This is... If you don't want your current life to be destroyed, you had better succeed. I'll be waiting for good news. Why? Why is this happening? Noir is the target. Is it because she's the... The you? Oh, you don't want to be the you. I can't. How could I possibly? But if I don't, what should I do? I wonder if Keisha's mad at me because I ran out here. No, she's got other things going on in her mind right now. I'll have to apologize when I get back. All right, I'll defeat it quickly and go home. Yes, that's exactly how that works. Yes, so, umbrella. Like, she got the umbrella, and we were making our way to the car. It's like, I got into the car on the other side, because, like I said, American cars are backwards for some reason. And I, w I was pretty much dry. Pretty much dry, because, you know, I know how the rain works. Oh, ah! Is someone getting attacked? I have to go help them. Winnie, I suppose. What is that thing? Thinking back to my earlier fight, it's a weird coincidence I've run into two monsters I've never seen before in such a short amount of time. Crap, my glasses. No one told me my glasses would break if this thing was too powerful. Yeah, last station soldiers getting attacked by a monster again. Hey, you. My glasses look good. They don't, do they? Hmm. It's dangerous here, so get away as... Wait. You're the wanted girl! Oh, shoot. These are the same soldiers that were chasing me before. Are you guys getting into trouble again? Are you doing anything right? It's because we were searching for you, you goddess of death. Are you calling goddess of death? How disrespectful to call a CPU that. Well, oh, whatever you are, it doesn't change the fact that you're a member of the organization. Mm hmm. This time we'll. Oh, Winnie? You yeah? are? Save us! Jeez, why do you guys have to be such a pain in the ass? Winnie? Here. Yeah, I'll fight this thing. So you use the opportunity to rescue the injured citizens and get out of here. But, but, but we can't back down here. Even if it costs us our life, you're gonna run away. I'm glad they're so enthusiastic about their work, but it's pretty annoying right now. Just retreat already. If you fall here, then your mission will have meant nothing. Uh, there's nothing we can do. We have to retreat for now. Don't think this is the end. Thanks. Winnie. Finally, I can fight you without holding back. I don't know what the hell you are, but I'm going to defeat you in the name of Blast Station. Who else am I going to put there? Like, what? What are you even asking me that for, game? 
It was kind of cool to show off and all, but this is getting pretty bad. Winnie? Winnie? Someone just sniped it. And it was effective. Where did it come from? Whatever, now's my chance. Now, who's my opponent? Uh, the thing right in front of you. Lacey Dance! Lacey Dance! So yes, Sarah had the umbrella, I didn't. I, I got into the car. I was pretty much, you know, dry. Because I know how the weather works. I know how rain works. <laughs> Clearly Sarah doesn't know how the rain works. <laughs> and she basically misunderstood the whole concept of the umbrella will keep you dry, yes. But it also collects rain on the top. So then she had to fold it back up when she got into the I'll car. You up. All the rain went over her that had collected on the top. Yep, and a bit on me as well. So if anything, I got more wet from her bringing an umbrella. It's just like she has no concept of the rain, like being from LA and stuff like that. It's like no concept of the rain. It's just like, oh it's dear, oh here. dear. Whereas I knew exactly what I was doing. And I did say, I did say to her, you will it's regret it. Open. You regret it. And she did. She very much did. It's and then we had um, some food. I had some fish and chips. This is a bit, bit, bit wrong, Let's the fish dance. and chips that I had, though, because they removed skin. You need a little bit of skin, so it, re it remains sort of like a, its rigidity, is the best way of putting it. And it just, there's no skin on it at all. It just, just started falling apart the second you put into it. It's like, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You do not know how to do fish properly over in this country of yours. It's just very, very wrong. There. You're weak. Job done. I can't believe I had this much trouble. It wasn't that bad. We were fine. What are you on about? Winnie. I managed to defeat it. That was really close this time around. Still, who took that shot? Uni? But she would have shown herself already. Target down. Now returning. <gasps> who could it be? Phew. I'm finally back. Ugh, I've got a few more injuries. Injuries? Yep. Injuries. What should I say to Keisha? Oh, Noir. You, you were late. I was so worried. Wait. You're all beaten up. I'm sorry to worry you. I had a little trouble, but at least I managed to defeat that monster. Really? That's amazing. I told you to leave it to me. Although it was a little dangerous. You really defeated that thing, young lady? That's incredible! Oh, it was nothing. Please, don't slap my back, because that's kind of weird. Thank you. Now I feel safe to go outside again. Ouch. I said don't slap my back. It's true what they say about not judging books by their covers. You're really something. Jeez, do I need to wear a sign on my back or something? Stop slapping it. I'm injured, you know. This is how the people of this city showed their sincere thanks, Noir. By damaging your back beyond repair. I've never heard of such a custom. <laughs> I'm only joking. But you are very popular, Noir. It's not funny. I'm glad they're happy, but please be more gentle on me. Footsteps. Noir, look! Are you positive this is the area that woman is hiding in? Affirmative, according to our latest intel. Are those last station soldiers? Why are they there? Or here? Or m uh, maybe where? Noir, hide. I'll handle this. You'll handle this? Casey, do you know who I am? Uh, you are Noir. That's all. Nothing else matters. Keisha, I'm sorry. Oh, not again. Hey, did a strange woman with black hair come through here? No, don't think I have seen her anywhere. You know something? Hmm, not really sure. That woman is on the wanted list. Now, if you know something, spit it out. They're saying they don't know. So you're all done here, right? What did you say, woman? Do you mean to obstruct us? We're simply saying we don't know anything. How is that obstruction? Shut up. We're positive she's in this city. If you protect her, then we'll arrest you for her same offenses. We truly don't know anything. 
How many times must I say so until you accept this? Let's take this woman with us. She might talk if we shake her. Come with us. We'll have you tell us everything you know. You. Yeah. Let me go. Keisha? Hey, she didn't do anything. You be quiet. Come on. If you're going to struggle, things might get painful for you. No, let go! Stop struggling. Why, you... I'm really going to hurt. Uh, what? That makes no sense. Let her go. You... You were in the city after all! You've been duped! You are, why? I'm your target, right? She's not related to me at all, so let her go right now. If you'll come with us quietly, I'll release her. If you want to arrest me, then hurry up already. Huh. You're cocky for a secret organization. Member. Let's go, criminal. We no longer need you. Go wherever you wish. Why did you show yourself? I said I'd handle it. I didn't want to see you get hurt. We're friends, right? Oh. This isn't tea time, ladies, is it not? Oh. Hurry it up. Thank you, Keisha. I was really happy you stuck up for me. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance in capturing a wanted criminal. Why did that girl get arrested? Is she a bad person? No, she's not a bad person. You see, that lady is a CPU. CPU? What's a CPU? Noir. <sighs> Why do we have to go through something like this? At least this scene's got voice acting. I hope Noir was able to get away. She didn't get caught, did she? Well... Yeah, mm. It's bothering me. But I have no way of finding out. Ugh, damn it! A, a call? From who? Hello? I mean, it has to be Nepgear. Come on. Oh, good. I got through. Are you alright, Uni? It's Kizzy. I'm fine. You look like you're doing alright. Are you close to reaching Planet Tune? No, she is elsewhere. Yeah, I should be there in just a little while. Thanks for asking, Uni. It feels nice knowing you'd worry about me. That's... But no, you're, you're, you're meant to be somewhere else. Like, somewhere that has tea. Let's put it like that. Dream on, Nepgear. Like, I'd ever be worried about you. Aww. But I called you because I was really, really worried about you. I'm not weak enough to need concern. Well, I'm glad you're worrying, though. Uni said she was glad. <laughs> just state your business already. Did you really just call because you were worried? Oh, right. Uni, please, listen calmly. No, no, listen energetically. Come on, just spit it out already! Alright. I've been trying to gather information by intercepting radio transmissions. And I recently heard something... concerning. They call it... Dub Step? Concerning? Does it have anything to do with why we can't transform? Well, no. But you see, I heard that Noir had been captured by last station soldiers. What? What do you mean? It looks like they're treating her as a member of Affimax. She was placed on some kind of wanted list. I couldn't believe it, but that's why I decided to contact you. I see. Thanks for the info, Nepgear. Uni, are you possibly going to... Of course. I'm going to save my sister. It's too dangerous alone. You'll be fighting the Basilicom. No, all of Last Station. Ah, that's nothing for Uni. I know. Once we all meet up, we can... I can't wait that long. It's just a guess. But I'm sure Noir predicted this. And that's why she had me escape. Yeah, that's exactly why. That's why I have to go save her right now. Uni. I understand. I'll help you then. I can't help out directly. But I'll do my best to gather information about where Noir is right away. Thanks, Nepgear. I'll leave that to you. You, you thanked me. Why would she not? I'll at least do that much. Hey, is that the type of person you think I am? Yes, it's quite rude. 
Ugh, I'm hanging up. Call me when you have more info. Okay, leave it to me. It's not the same as before. I can save her this time. Even without everyone here. Oh, I like that little touch where it's referencing what's happened in previous games. I'll need to prepare for the raid. I'll do some quests to stock up on items I might need until Nepkir calls me back. I'll save you, Noir. Please wait for me. I wonder how long I've been here. 62,000 years. Or three days. Uh, now that I think about it, I haven't eaten anything since I was brought here. Even if I'm suspected of being a member of Affimax, they could at least give me some food. Hey, have you heard the latest? Huh? What's he on about? <laughs> Who hasn't? We're about to be the top nation in the world. I feel like I can't get away from people's excitement about the invasion. The invasion? I mean, it's great and all. I'm pretty excited since we're on this side of it. But what about those new species of monsters they're using? New species of monsters? Do they mean like the monster in the woods? I, I, is that the name of a film? Who even cares, man? Those monsters are just going to be sent into other countries. We'll let them rampage and that'll be that. Although I've heard we've had a few containment issues. They fight being captured, they run off, damage cities, hurt people, yada yada. I see. So that's why those soldiers were there. They weren't there to get rid of it. <sighs> Jeez, what's going on? A station's going to war. Don't they even understand how much harm would come upon the citizens if that happened? But still, our new leader is pretty vigorous, huh? So youthful, too. New leader? Who are they talking about? Well, clearly the gold third member. They, they did talk about this. What was their name again? Got a pretty bad memory. Hey, even though she's way up the food chain, she is the superior to your superiors. So it did serve you well to remember her freaking name. But anyway, the name is... <sighs> well, of course. Hey, what's wrong? Ah, this is a tranquilizer. Dart. <sighs> it got really quiet. Did something happen? Yes, they clearly said tranquilizer. Uh... Noir! Yuni! Why are you here? She works very, very fast. I'm so glad you're okay. I heard you got caught, and I couldn't just sit still and do nothing. I'm rescuing you. Thank you, Yuni. You've saved me yet again. It's all right. I was insurance for just this sort of thing anyway, right? You bet. But I didn't think you'd come and save me so quickly. Yeah, this is, this is it's very fast. Nepgear helped me out quite a bit. I could tell you the details later. Let's hurry up and get out of here before someone else finds us. Right. Yuni, we have to get back to the Basilicom as soon as possible. Huh? Why? Well, there's, there's war brewing. I'll fill you in along the way. We just need to move and get to Lestation and fast. Uh, okay. Lestation is my beloved nation. I won't let them go to war. Uni has joined, finally. Lixrash. Good old Lixrash. Everyone loves Lixrash. Right, so let's see here what we got in the little scenes. Alright, so let's start with maybe I'm tired. I thought it was taking a while for the fleet I sent out on an expedition to come back, but I actually hadn't deployed it yet. Changing the subject, uh, when the CPUs transform, their chests get bigger. But is that because they're just modern girls? Excluding Lady Uni. Or Uni. Hey, can I ask you something? Nope. Hey, do you know about urchins? They're all spiky, but they're really delicious. Recently, I saw one in the mountains. And, huh? You get urchins from the sea. What? That's different from the urchins I know. Indeed. Maybe we can make some, like, bombs out of them or something. Got a minute? Nope. Lately, I hear lots of rumors about Lady Noir. She seems like a good person, but she's nowhere close to Nyan Yagao. All right. Thanks for rescuing me, Uni. As expected, my younger sister. 
We finally made it back. We've only been gone for a little while, but man, it feels really nostalgic. Yeah. Let's head for the Basilicum. We'll get some information there. They won't let us in, will they? They're still wanted, Noir. There's no need to go in from the front. There's a hidden passage, so if we go in that way, we won't get caught. We have a hidden passageway? It's my first time hearing about it. Oh. Didn't I tell you? I had it made because I thought it'd be... interesting. I interesting? Noir didn't properly leave that scene, if you notice, by the way. Her hair was still there. Anyway. We snuck in! Now what should we do? We really got inside. Maybe I'll use this again next time. Next time? It's only a matter of time until we're found, so gather as much intel as possible. Documents or anything you can get your hands on. Why is Uni planning for a next time? I don't know who you are, but this area is restricted. Shoot, they found us! So it's you. She didn't finish you off. How unlike her. H who are you? I'm just a Basilicom staff member. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing more, nothing less, my ass! Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. This was originally my Basilicom. That's right. It was, wasn't it? How do you know these things? Do you actually remember me? In the mountains. Why, yes, I do. Last Station's CPU Blackheart and her younger sister. I never expected to meet someone who'd remember us here. I'll get to the point. Is it true you're going to invade other nations? Your role as CPU of Last Station is in the past. I have no obligation to disclose information regarding official national affairs. With an answer like that, it must be true. I don't know what your objective is, but stop this ridiculousness right now! If war breaks out, all the citizens will be in grave danger. Imagine the number of casualties. Doesn't this concern you? No, not in the slightest. This is a war we have heavily desired. Could this person be... Do you know something about her? Yeah! It's only a possibility, but she might be part of a mercenary group that disbanded quite a while ago. M mercenary group? Mercenary group? Thank you. They were warmongers that fueled fighting by selling weapons in themselves. That's right. Now I remember. But that group should have broken up a long time ago. I mean, he didn't actually explain anything else other than they were a mercenary group just then, but okay. It's true that the Order was destroyed, but those who remained gathered together and created an entirely new Order. We've been in hiding under the surface, waiting for a chance to create a war whenever it was needed. I get it. That's why you took over the Basilicom. Correct. It's much faster to start a war by hijacking a nation's center. We were fortunate that this nation's Gold Third was indifferent to national affairs and left it up to the Basilicom. It created an opening for us. I can't believe guys like these would take advantage of me. I would. The station isn't a tool for you to wage wars! Your words are pointless. We'll use whatever we can to make things happen. Looks like you have no intention of stopping. I'll just have to stop you by force! <laughs> what idiots! Don't you know you're completely surrounded? We are? Oh, god damn it! Guards! Guards! We have intruders! Capture them immediately! Now what will you do? Will you defeat me by hurting those you wish to protect? Damn it! We're retreating, Uni! Stop resisting! Is that okay, Noir? It can't be helped. If we fight here, we'll risk damaging the Basilicom too much. Uh, okay. Okay, I understand. I don't, it's only a building. A wise decision. Don't you forget this. We're gonna destroy your plans. I look forward to it. Okay. We shook off the guards. It's no surprise, really. We just know our way around our city. What are we gonna do now, Noir? How are we going to stop her? 
It'll be difficult to take Lestation back from her immediately. All we can do right now is defeat those new monsters so they won't be used as weapons. Can't we march in and beat them up? Uh, security will likely be tighter thanks to our little incident. I think direct confrontation will be nearly impossible. I figured. Defeating monsters, huh? Sounds like a pain, but we have to try. Right. Let's go check for quests at the guild. Oh, great. We're into that territory where we have to check for quests. Of course. Of course. So we need some exhausted jelly. Let's pick that up then. Here's a monster extermination quest. I hope it's one of the new species. Even if it's not, it doesn't matter. It wouldn't change the fact that the citizens are in trouble. Noir? Keisha, why are you here? I'd like to ask you the same thing. Hadn't you gotten captured? Oh, well... Noir, um, who is this person? Right, let me introduce you to Keisha, this is Uni. She's my younger sister. Your younger sister? Uni, this is Keisha. She helped me when I was injured. She's my friend. Your friend? Are you surprised at that? What? Am I not allowed to have friends? Oh, just sorry. It's not wrong at all. I think my reflex was to copy Neptune's reaction, since I've seen it so many times. Sorry. Um, hello, I'm Uni. Thank you for helping my sister. Oh, no, I, I didn't do all that much. So, Keisha, what are you doing in the station? Well, I was worried about you in a while. I thought if I came here, I might find something. I see. Keisha, for seeming so reserved, you actually have a lot of drive, don't you? Even if you praise me, you'll only get a lunchbox. We'll get lunchboxes? I'm always carrying one around, so I'll have it when reuniting with Noir. Okay. Huh? Is it possible we have stage 5 Klinger on our hands here? I guess you're pretty prepared. If it's okay with you, I'll gladly accept it. Noir, we better get going. I know. Keisha, we're going out for a bit. Let's eat together when I return, okay? Oh, wait. Um, If it's alright, could I come along with the both of you? I don't think it's a good idea. It'd be too dangerous for you, Keisha. I want to help. I can't fight, but I could gather information. I won't be a burden. Please, Noir. Why are you so insistent? Is it not enough to say because we're friends? Uh, looks like no matter what I say, you won't listen. I'll let you come along if you agree to run at the first sign of danger. You have to listen to me when I tell you to run, okay? Yes, I promise. You're a little strange to stick your neck out so much for just a friend. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Uni, you okay with this? No. Uh, yeah, if you're okay with it, I don't object. Besides, it's a little difficult for us to gather information, so I think it'd help to have one person doing that for us. Definitely, Uni. Alright, we'll take out those monsters, so please gather as much intel as you can, Keisha. Yes, please leave it to me. Let's move out. And that's where we're going to end this part, and in the next part, we'll have a look at these little converses all over the place here. we got one with Uni. Lovely. I do like the chippy version of Uni. Uh, speaking of chippy versions of Uni, there's um, Valentine's Day for um, me and Sarah. What One of the things Sarah actually got for me was she commissioned a picture of Uni, so, sort of similar to that, just just having a little cup of tea. Just having a little cup of tea. It was like, that's a, that's a lovely gift. Lovely gift from Sarah. It's like, I, I have that as my wallpaper on my phone. It is, it is quite lovely. Anyway... That's us done for this part. In the next part, we'll, we'll, like I said, see these scenes and head off to the dungeon, I suppose, and get that quest done. We'll see you then. Ta ta for now.